Ten and two. Ten and two. Greg, tell us what we're up to today. Drive ten and two between the white and yellow lines. Curve coming up the red ring. All right, you're up. Had a little excess hay, so we're taking it to the auction. Tell us about the auction that we're about to experience. It's the Blooming Grove, Shiloh, Ohio, Mennonite auction. Today's the hay auction. So we've got 30 bales of hay on here. We're going to go see what they get coming. This place kind of becomes a hodgepodge as it gets closer to the sale starting. People have brought in straw, hay. There's big bales that are round, big bales that are square, little squares, kind of a mixture of everything. So the people kind of circulating out here are buyers and sellers. And once the sale gets started, they'll move from load to load. So this auction happens every week, pretty much all year. It'll slow down a lot once it gets closer to people making their own hay in the summer. As part of the sale, if you have big bales, you're agreeing to take those and deliver them. If you have small bales, you're probably just going to throw them off onto somebody else's truck. They've started the sale and they're moving from load to load. For the most part, they sell everything by the ton. So you'll hear numbers anywhere from like $100 up to $300 a ton, depending on what it is. Typically, the straw goes for less than the hay. Last year was a really tough year to make hay, so there has been a shortage this year. So the prices have been really good. So they'll just kind of move this group from load to load. If you listen carefully, you can hear the auctioneer chanting there in the background. The loads on this end have already sold, so typically as soon as the load sells, the buyer and the seller will meet each other and decide what they're going to do for unloading. If it's big bales and those are being delivered to the farm, the seller will get directions and stuff. We're kind of in an Amish Mennonite type community. so. Farms are a little bit of everything. Hopefully they have some sort of tractor loader to unload things. Usually before things sell, the buyers all go around, kind of kick the tires, so to speak, on the loads, figure out for sure what they're going to buy on. They can ask the sellers any questions at that time, too. So these loads over here have yet to sell. I wanted to be the first one back into the truck. You can see our cozy accommodations here. Because we are going to take the guy that bought our hay with us back to his farm. So like I said, a lot of these are Amish Mennonite. Many of them don't drive. So sometimes when you sell the hay, they just hop in with you to get back to where they came from. So be a cozy ride. We've made it to the guy that bought our hay to his farm. We had a conversation on the way over. He said that he milks about 60 cows and he's gonna use this hay for dry cows which is a little bit lower energy requirement. So typically when you move hay bales, you have special spears that go on a skid loader or a tractor. They're called hay forks. This guy's using pallet forks, which are a little bit different. So you can't 
spear the bales with those. You have to actually put the forks underneath the bales. It's a little bit harder to move, but he's a pretty good operator with the skid loader. So he's going to unload this whole truck. There were 36 bales that we brought over today, and he's just stacking them to different places. So that's what we're up to. Getting some hay off, and uh, we'll get moving on with our next one. video for roses. Little video shipping. Oh, another good day at the hay auction today. Sold for the uh, price we could live with and what we was hoping for. So, I'm going to go feed somebody's dry cows in that grass hay. A lot of mature hay in the market and uh, very little good dry hay. What was went for a very good price. Ours was mature, so it went for a Fair price and the price we'd be happy with it. Now we're heading back home now and go more some concrete this afternoon. Catch you later.